I feel like after the first two videos on the subject, people know I'm a fan of Rule of Rose. Not only is the game something I like, the lore is fun to look at, and the community around it is extremely supportive of content released on the game. Doesn't matter how many times I look at the game, there's always something I want to talk about. But I may have ignored the most important story, so before I do another deep dive on something else, I feel like it's time we address Wendy. Wendy, the sweet-looking blonde child with serious health issues. When we first meet her, we see the side of her that is always sweet and kind to our main character, Jennifer. In fact, it was Wendy who basically saved Jennifer from where she was being held. November of 1929, Wendy discovered Jennifer locked away in the house of Gregory Wilson, who we will have to talk about later. But there was a lot of confusion in that original meeting. At the time, our main character was forced to dress as Wilson's dead son, Joshua. So Wendy assumed that this was a trapped little boy. They would pass notes back and forth. We even have the dates in which those notes took place. My name is Wendy. I always watch you from the sky, Mr. Joshua. Why are you trapped down there? Thank you so much for writing to me. The man calls me Joshua, but my name is Jennifer. I've been in this room ever since he saved me. He's a nice person, but he won't let me leave. My prince in need of rescue. It was a pleasure to meet you, my prince. What a wonderful encounter. Yes, I only wish there was a world for just you and I, the prince and princess. Don't worry. I'll set you free. Thank you, Wendy. I want to fly away from this room and run with you in the fields. But the man is so lonely, so sad, I can't leave him alone. Oh, my poor kind prince, you're worried because the man sometimes seems crazy, right? Well, don't worry. I know where he hides that awful thing of his. So let's run away together. You can leave it all to me. Everything will be all right. Thank you, Wendy, my kind and fair princess. Is there anything that I can do for you? My prince, please don't worry. I'll do anything for you. Just pledge your love for me. That's all I ask. I, Jennifer, pledge to the fair Princess Wendy, everlasting, true love, I am yours. Tomorrow night I shall unlock your shackles. Let us live together forever, everlasting, true love, I am yours. Now the only way to get these letters is to find them in the game. They aren't just given to you. So a lot of players probably missed a good portion of this. They can be found in the Gingerbread House and Once Upon a Time chapters. There are others as well that we will touch on, making this a game that alludes to a lesbian relationship in the PS2 era. So after that last letter, it's generally understood that Wendy helped her escape January 28th, 1930, and took Jennifer to the orphanage. There are large gaps in time between letters, and I feel like it's safe to assume that during those times, Wendy was actually bedridden. We learned during the game that Wendy is often sick, though was never told what that illness is. And during this time, she most likely started the rumors of Stray Dog, and how he would kidnap children. This is what led to the formation of the Red Crayon Aristocrat Society. Now the game doesn't make this super clear, but the timeline for all the following events is actually fairly close together. Wendy, I am here now, but I'm kind of afraid. Everything is new to me. I am worried if I'll get along with everyone. 
My dear Jennifer, there is nothing to fear. I am always by your side. I will never betray you. We made an oath, remember? The next couple letters is where we start to see that relationship go sideways. Dear Wendy, I have great news. I have found something wonderful. I look forward to every morning now, and I hope you will too. My dear Jennifer, I am so relieved that you are well again. Is that why I couldn't find you yesterday morning? It's no use trying to fool me. I can see right through your pranks. Anyway, thanks in advance. Tee hee hee. How are you, Wendy? You haven't said anything to me since I showed you the surprise. Do you like my cute little puppy, Brown? Let's take care of him together. Sadly, Wendy took issue with Brown the puppy. She felt like it was there to take the place of her, and jealousy ran wild. By the fall, not only was Wendy looking to get Brown out of the picture, but she eventually turned on Jennifer completely. You still have that filthy dog. I'll never forgive you. Have you forgotten your oath, the rule of Rose? Goodbye, Jennifer. You will regret choosing that dog over me. That very month, Brown was killed, most likely at Wendy's insistence, but not by her hands. Jennifer finally snapped. After being slapped and told to go away, Wendy fled and lost all status she had within the orphanage. She ended up returning, but she brought a bloodbath with her. December of 1930, Wendy came back to the orphanage dressed as Joshua. It didn't take long. I'm not exactly sure how this was managed, but she had trained Mr. Wilson to act more like an animal in that time period. When the kids of the orphanage came to see what was going on, they were all brutally murdered by the man now known as Stray Dog. Jennifer was spared only because she stayed inside. When she eventually made it outside the orphanage and saw Wendy, the only response she gave was, I brought Stray Dog here. But I... I... This is when Stray Dog realized that the person that had brought him there was not Joshua, his dead son, but somebody else. Wendy was dragged inside the building, also leading to her death as well. The game doesn't convey these events in a clear-cut way. In fact, I know someone who played this game and understood none of this, which is a constant point of inspiration to make these videos. The surface-level content leaves people confused on the plot points and even the overall story of the game. But once the plot is pieced together by in-game content, you find the tragic tale that all started with two young girls, a tragic love story, and the death of an entire group of orphans. Thank you for watching another video on Rule of Rose. If you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe and like buttons if you could. Thank you for watching.